Hello fellow gamers, welcome to Azrael Gaming. My name is Dustin, and are you ever bothered by unsightly games that have stickers all stuck on the back when you find them, and they're overlapping the labels on the back, but can't figure out how to clean them? What about permanent markers in the back of your games, like this one here, like good old Rose? Well, in this video we'll be discussing some of the best ways to be able to clean these cartridges from the labels and the markers, and if you stay until the end, we'll show you which products and methods work best for us. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ring that bell for future notifications whenever we upload a video so you don't miss anything. Let's get into it. As we see here, we've got some Sharpie marker on the bottom of this. I've already kind of tried to do a little bit of a, a removal here to show my process. One of the things that I'll do when it's a permanent marker or Sharpie marker, I try to use a dry erase marker over the top. So you kind of take it and you, you rub in, you kind of draw over the top. It feels very destructive, but the harder you can kind of get in there or you can get in between the pores of, of the game itself, the little rough parts, uh, the better. And just kind of really kind of scrub it in there any of the spots where it is. Just kind of go pretty liberal on it. Just kind of got it all good and covered there like that. As you can see. And then I'll just take a, just a blue shop towel or rag. Uh, and then usually you can just kind of, kind of comes off, you can see there. So sometimes it takes some multiple applications to do. Uh, but if you're patient with it, you'll definitely be able to get them off. And of course, the other final option that people use a lot are gonna be the Magic Eraser that you can buy. Uh, these are, um, believe it or not, almost sandpaperish like and they will take off the surface if you do too much. Uh, you wanna keep that, kind of that grain, if you will. You can hear it when you scratch it. Um, so I just, again, take just small, Little small movements, little light. Some circular movements will do a good job. And then uh, take our towel again here. Rub it off and as you can see, we're, we're definitely making really good progress. Okay, and next up we're going to be cleaning the inside of uh, the contact points of a Nintendo game. It also works for Super Nintendo, Game Boy games, etc. Uh, what I recommend is usually some rubbing alcohol, um, specifically the higher the alcohol content. So this one is a 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol. Um, the 99% are a little harder to find actually. So if you are looking for these, I would say check uh, beauty supply stores. They seem to have them more regularly online right now. Uh, there's a lot of scammers on Amazon and things like that selling 99% for that are really just 70 that have just been relabeled and uh, they charge, you know, astronomical amounts of money because of the whole COVID crisis and people taking that stuff a little overboard. So uh, if you can find these at the, the beauty supply stores, that's where I would check. If not, you know, 70 and 91% still will work, but uh, I just take a cap full here on a... Uh, Q-tip and just kind of rub it on in there and just kind of get a sense of cleaning the bottom parts. And as you can tell, oh yeah, look at that. That's really lovely in there. Let's see the other side here. Yep, nice black goop in this one. And that's just on the, the plastic parts of the game, not even on the contacts yet. So I'll use the other side to clean the contacts. A wave across it, just like this. Works great, it evaporates really fast, and it uh, cleans up all of those contacts and makes it so that your game is gonna play a little bit easier than it was before. So There we go. Uh, on the inside, I can definitely tell that uh, we're all clean now. Uh, we've got no um, lingering uh, dust bunnies, if you will. 
inside of there and the contacts are, are good and, and polished at this point. So there you go. Okay, we're going to be cleaning uh, the labels and stickers off of uh, a particular game. This one is a little bit more of a, a difficult one because it's got a sticker on top of it looks like a, uh, a security tape underneath there. So we'll see what we can do to remove these. Uh, what uh, I normally use, uh, there's lots of different methods, but I found that the WD-40 is a great choice for uh, breaking up the, um, the adhesiveness of uh, particular stickers. And also Zippo lighter fluid, uh, these refillable lighter fluid containers, also works really well. So we're going to try uh, WD-40 on part of the label, and we'll do Zippo lighter fluid on the other half, and we'll kind of kind of see which uh, works better for us. Uh, lastly, what I want to show, it's a real winner here, is the plastic razor blade. These plastic razor blades are really great at uh, getting underneath and scraping up the, um, the, the label itself or the sticker without scratching the underlying surface. And so in this case, the sticker that's underneath that or the label that's underneath that sticker. And uh, so it's hard to find actually. Uh, when I went around asking for auto parts stores and, and Lowe's and Home Depot's, they had no idea what I was talking about. They, they make plastic razor blades? Yes, they do. You have to go online usually. Uh, I found these on Amazon. Um, found a whole box of, I think it was 100 different uh, razor blades and two uh, holders like this for I think around 12 bucks or so. But uh, I'll put an affiliate link in the, in the description down below if you're interested in trying to pick some of these up. They work super awesome. I highly recommend it. All right, let's get into it. Give it a little moment to set in. And as you can kind of tell already, it's starting to get a little see-through here. So you can see the the background of the, the existing label is starting to show through that sticker. It's a good sign that uh, it's ready to peel off. So let's uh, see what we can do. These razor blades are still sharp, they still will cut you, so if you slip off and don't, you know, gouge yourself, <laughs> hold it away from yourself if you can.
we definitely lost some of the uh, label underneath on this. These stickers are security tapes, of course, meant not to be removed easily. Um, but we got it off and only for a back part of a label, not too bad. Only some minor, uh, some removal there of, of two spots and a little bit on the edge here. If you slow down again and just take your time on them and let that uh, stuff soak in, uh, work a little bit, wait, put some more on there, you'll be able to clean this up real easily, I would say. But for the sake of uh, this video and showing what, uh, what we can do, uh, this will suffice. Uh, these little security things here on the end are also uh, an option to clean up. And I'm just using exclusively now the, the lighter fluid. Uh, I find that uh, usually this works really good on these uh, little kind of security stuff on the side. And I can just scrape this pretty much right off without much effort at all. We see here. So. All right, there we go. Getting off stickers and other security tapes, etc., off of uh, the labels of your games or also off the carts itself using Zippo lighter fluid refill and or WD-40. Works really well. Um, I know there are other options like goof off and undo, uh, but uh, I find that uh, for home remedies, these uh, these work pretty well. Most people have a can of WD-40 or uh, some sort of a Zippo lighter fluid around. I wouldn't use um, the like lighter fluid for like a barbecue grill. It's not quite the same. Uh, it is specific with this. Uh, it seems to work really well. All right, to review what's worked best for us in cleaning the games, uh, to take the labels, I found that the Zippo lighter fluid was probably the best of the two over WD-40 or the goof-offs, etc. Um, it seemed to just peel that label up without much effort. Again, I didn't use my fingernails because it kind of leaves indents, so I would recommend using the plastic razor blades if you can find those. Uh, I did just really on top of the surface and scrape those labels right off with very little effort. Uh, as for the markers, uh, the permanent markers, that dry erase over the top uh, and then rubbing it off does work almost all the time, 60% uh, of the time. And the um, using a magic eraser to take off the last little bit if you need to. Again, being really careful and just going, going real light on circles on the surface, not to remove any of the, uh, the plastic itself because you can rub it all the way down to nothing. And uh, yeah, so tell me what you guys think um, in the comments below. Do you have an idea on how to clean these games better than what I found? Please let me know. And until then, we'll see you guys next time.